woman is making out and suddenly sees her aging face in the mirror. She pushes the man away and flees the room in a panic. Count died, and those who wanted a share of the estate rushed to the lawyer's office after the funeral. The estate had already been distributed. The biggest beneficiary was not an immediate family member, but the son of a friend who saved Count's life. Tough! Count left him all the horses in the house, and the rest of the land and money was divided equally between his daughter and his wife. Elizabeth! Daughter was not born to Elizabeth and had been raised outside home. Elizabeth is upset when she hears that two unrelated people want to share her money, and she complains to Captain. They had been having an affair for 20 years and kept it a secret from Count. They thought they'd have everything when he died, but the plan just fell apart. Elizabeth asked the Captain to arrange for her daughter to be abducted on her way back, giving her no chance to inheritance. When she gets home, Elizabeth plans to take a relaxing bath. But the water the maid puts in is too hot and angers her. She asks the maid to peel a peach, and she cuts her hand again. One thing led to another, and Elizabeth couldn't take it anymore. She cut the maid's face with a knife. Something amazing happened. The blood splattered part of her face returned to youth. She immediately comes to the maid's room and takes her away, draining her blood and smearing it all over her body. She danced with joy at her rejuvenation. Captain, having accomplished his mission, took his daughter and locked her up in a cabin in the woods, where she was guarded by a strong guard to prevent her from being discovered. A rejuvenated Elizabeth lies that she is her daughter who has returned, and joins the group for dinner. Elizabeth has a great time chatting at the table, not only teasing the older captain about being an uncle, but also conquering Toth with her humor and beauty. They have a private rendezvous. But while they are talking about their love, Elizabeth sees herself in the mirror and sees that she has become old. She fled the room in terror. She asks a servant to tell Toth that her mother is unwell and that she has been called away on short notice. She must find another young girl to maintain her beauty, so that she can continue to date Toth. She breaks down. Some enthusiastic gypsy women come to perform in that area, and Elizabeth invites them to the castle under the pretext of divination. The woman's divination was accurate. She said that Elizabeth had recently met love, and would be rejuvenated in appearance and in spirit. Elizabeth is rewarded with a magnificent necklace. While she was wearing the necklace, Elizabeth killed the woman. She uses the woman's blood to rejuvenate herself and becomes more involved with Toph. As their conversations and contact increased, Elizabeth's love for Toph deepened. She wanted to marry him and become his wife. She told Captain about this and hoped that he would help her. Captain advises her to recognize the reality that she will grow old one day. Elizabeth knew he wouldn't say yes, so she said she was marrying Toph for his money, and that she would give him the benefit of the doubt. Captain is already in love with Elizabeth, and with the lure of money. He agrees. However, he clearly senses that Elizabeth does not want to have contact with him lately, and he is a bit jealous, so he sneaks Toph to a tavern, gets him drunk, and arranges for a prostitute to enter his room. Elizabeth's return to her original form, coupled with the knowledge that Toph has betrayed her, and she will definitely return to the captain. Captain takes her to catch the adulterer, but Toph is too drunk and falls asleep when he enters the room. The woman doesn't finish the job, but she still wants the money. She comes out of the room and asks Captain for the money. Elizabeth is furious when she realizes that Captain arranged everything, but she can't afford to lose his help, so she orders him to bring the prostitute to her room. As Bachelor hears everything, he goes to his study to check out the book on blood rejuvenation. The whore is drained of her blood, but this time, Elizabeth doesn't get any younger. She doesn't know what's going on. They rush to the library to look for the book and meet up with Bachelor. Bachelor knows that if he doesn't join them, something bad will happen to him. He told them what he read in the book to gain their trust. She needs the blood of a virgin to restore her youth, and the Bachelor trades this information for his life. The next day, Captain goes to the market to buy Elizabeth a maiden. The kind-hearted bachelor doesn't want them to continue to harm people, but he's afraid of retaliation afterward. He gave Toph a secret message, telling him to keep an eye on the people around him, but Captain sees the two of them talking. After seeing this, Captain killed Bachelor. Toph found Bachelor's brutal death with Captain at his side. He asks him why he did it, and enraged Captain says it's because Toph is stealing winning from him. Toph looks confused. Captain takes him to his room, where Elizabeth is wiping her body with blood. Toph can't help but feel sick to his stomach at what he's witnessing. Elizabeth doesn't want to hide anymore. She decides to show Toth all her secrets. She shows him the bodies of the prostitutes hidden in the closet. She says that Toth was the one who brought the whore back last night, and if he doesn't marry her, she'll tell everyone that he killed her. Toth had no choice but to give in. While they were planning the wedding, the police came to the house to investigate Bachelor's death and found many female bodies. Suspecting that the castle's footmen were responsible, the police took them all back and ordered the rest of the castle to stay put. But with the wedding coming up, Elizabeth must prepare virgins. Elizabeth asks the captain for help, but with the current strict regulations, it is difficult for him to buy women. He thought of a girl in the log cabin, Count's daughter, 
The Count's daughter was sent to the castle's hut to be locked up. One day, Elizabeth's maid was on patrol and found her daughter. She happened to be the daughter's nursemaid. They were very close, and the nanny promised to help her escape. So she smuggled Toth in to meet her. The three of them agreed to let their daughter escape while the wedding was taking place. Halfway through the wedding, Elizabeth suddenly becomes senile and the guests are shocked. At this time, Nanny passes by with daughter, and Elizabeth recognizes her immediately. Packed, she pulls out a knife, intending to kill her daughter and drain her blood. When Toth rushes forward to stop her, Toth died. Elizabeth was arrested and imprisoned, and word of her bloodshed spread through the streets. When people spoke of Elizabeth, they added the phrase devilish woman. Though she was hated, her story lives on. It was a horror story and a warning to others. Youth and beauty are precious, but we must never go against nature. To be Cree is to fall into the abyss of desire and never see the light of day again. This is the end of the movie. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to me if you like it. See you next time.